they would bring them out the front, walk them around the, 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 round the back of here, look, round the back of there, and then where that taxi is there, they would leave them there and then walk back round, just so it doesn't look like they've been in their club. Is that right? Yeah. So they had uh, an ambulance here uh, that was parked up Friday night, Saturday nights, and uh, people were getting spiked. I actually rung Buzz one night and he come round and he put the camera on the young lady that was on the floor. He then went and spoke to the door staff and then spoke to the paramedics and they left her there for three and a half hours. When they finished work, they then took her up to the hospital. She was laid on the floor all that time. So inside there, there's a paramedic, yeah? Yeah. Right, so that paramedic's paid by the owner, but yet you never see him. When these people are smashed outside, throwing up and all that, you know what they're saying? Well, it's none of our business legally. We don't need to do anything with them because they're off our property now. Now, I rung the council a few weeks ago and I know the licensing officer over the pub, she's the same licensing officer over the taxis. And I, I explained to her everything that everybody's coming out and because there's no reports from the hospital to say that they've had the ambulances there, They've turned around and said it's very quiet there for the pit. There is spiking yeah, going around the town, but it's very quiet at the glow rooms. Then when I said to her, they have their own ambulance man there, they are their own... So the stats ain't going to be saved, are they? Because yeah. what they're doing is dealing with it in-house, so they're not going to have any documentation of it. Do you understand what I mean?